Afternoon, folks. I'm NTV Chief Meteorologist Eddie Shear. It's 11.59 a.m. on our Tuesday, just about to flip over to p.m. And a lot of folks are wondering when these winds are going to calm down or how much higher they're going to get. Well, luckily, I don't think they're going to get that much higher than where they are right now, especially across eastern Newfoundland. But it looks like we still have a few more hours of the wind to go before we're all said and done with it as we go on to this evening across eastern Newfoundland and overnight across western regions and northern peninsula and coastal regions of Labrador. Now, if you're wondering what the wind is from, area of low pressure, obviously. Sitting in the Gulf of St. Lawrence right now, 975 millibars, deepening rapidly as it's tracking off toward the north-northeast. And east of this low, we have a lot of isobars tightly packed together, indicating a very tight pressure gradient, which means we have a large change in pressure. Here's our high out here, 1034 millibars. Here's our low 975 over a short distance. And because we have the high here and the low here, the air is getting squeezed right now across eastern Newfoundland, like a river narrowing. Where it narrows, it has to speed up and the air is doing the same thing between the low and the high. So until this pattern changes, we are going to remain under the high winds across eastern Newfoundland, seeing gusts to 100, 110 over some exposed areas, widespread gusts between 80 and 90, which is what this blue color here is showing. And as we go through time here, you'll see by 2, 3 o'clock, we begin to see the core of the high wind speeds moving away from eastern Newfoundland, but a secondary core develops across western areas as we go into the overnight to the west coast, your turn for those high winds will be this evening into about midnight. Notice by midnight, we're starting to see those high winds then filter up toward the northern peninsula and onto the coast of Labrador as our area of low pressure is beginning to pull away. And it looks like really by tomorrow morning, while it still might be breezy, most of us are going to be done with the high winds by 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. But it looks like eastern Newfoundland, we're done with them by this evening, west coast by midnight, and coastal Labrador by tomorrow morning. The other thing this area of low pressure is doing, right now at least, is driving some very heavy rain across eastern areas of Newfoundland. Here is the radar from Holyrood, and it, you can see some very heavy rain around the Bonavista area right now, uh, Lower Island Cove, Western Bay, seeing some of that heavy rainfall. And as I set this into motion, you can see the rain is working from south to north at a pretty good clip. So while it looks like we are going to be under the rain across eastern Newfoundland for a few more hours. We are beginning to see signs that the rain is going to soon wind down, which is certainly a good thing. Now, something else to keep in mind, this area of low pressure rapidly intensifying. You can see it there in the water vapor imagery here from the College of DuPage website. But uh, areas of the south coast and likely areas of southern Newfoundland and the Avalon saw tremendous amounts of rain last night into today. And the reason for the intense rainfall amounts and the rates is because the rain that we're seeing is actually moisture being dragged up from the tropics. And you can see it here on the wider view of the uh, water vapor imagery. And you can see the fetch right here. Th these are essentially, this is the Caribbean Sea right here. And this is the fetch of moisture working its way all the way up into our area of low pressure, which is currently sitting back in here and being wrapped up into parts of Western Labrador. So the moisture that we're seeing across Newfoundland right now has origins in the tropics. And when you can get that kind of moisture fetch, you have the potential for some very heavy rain. And while you may hear the term atmospheric river directed more west to the west coast of the US and Western Canada, uh, I have no doubt in my mind what we're seeing right now is what you'd call an atmospheric river of moisture. So again, we're watching the rain right now. We're also seeing some wind as we check in on some of the high wind speeds right now on the Environment Canada site. I'll reload it. Uh, and it looks like um, nothing overly impressive out there. Pools Island gusting 86. And the last ob from St. John's is uh, gusting to 86 kilometers per hour as well. And do we have a higher gust than that? We had a gust at 930 of 89. So perhaps we're not going to get the real, real high gust it was looking like earlier, but we're still kind of in that period of high winds, which will be, <clears throat> pardon me, for a few more hours. As we go through time here, here's 1230 Newfoundland time. There's our area of low pressure tracking north. Snow in Labrador through a good chunk of the day. Very heavy around Goose Bay, Lake Melville this evening. This is by 730. 
By that time, the rain has ended across eastern Newfoundland, but we have seen the rain flip over to snow across western areas of the island. And onshore flurries and squalls will persist overnight. Some of the areas of central and eastern Newfoundland may see a few showers or flurries as we go into the overnight with more flurries along the west coast. And the snow will begin to wind down in Labrador as we go into the morning hours. Tomorrow is pretty much done with by about 2-3 o'clock in the afternoon. Snowfall across Labrador going to be very impressive. A swath from near um, just north of Rigolette up through Postville, Makovic area, down through Goose Bay, 20 to 30 centimeters. And that actually extends potentially along the western side of Prince Edward Island. And then across the western area of Newfoundland in the high terrain, could pick up 10, 20 centimeters of snow overnight into tomorrow morning. Low elevations, a couple of centimeters, but that will about do it. So again, we're going to be seeing the wind for a few more hours, the rain for a few more hours. West coast, you see snow this evening. Labrador, you see snow overnight into tomorrow. But tomorrow, the weather will improve for most of us. And again, the winds will begin to calm down for eastern Newfoundland in the next, looks like, five or six hours. West Coast, your high winds come in this evening into about midnight. In Labrador, your winds are overnight into tomorrow morning, and the weather will improve as we go through Wednesday. All right, folks, have a great day. Stay safe, be kind, and I'll see you shortly. Well, not shortly, but in a little while on NTV starting at 5.30 on first edition and between 6 and 7 on the evening news hour. Take care. Have a great day.